Gluten Analysis Test Procedure for the Sandwich ELISA Rida Screen Gliadin Rida Screen Gliadin in combination with the cocktail patented is the most used method for gluten analysis worldwide. It has been validated in two international collaborative studies and is now official AOAC OMA and AACCI method. Rida Screen Gliadin contains all reagents to carry out the test procedure. Unpack the bottles and the microtita plate from the box to bring all reagents to room temperature before use. This takes about 60 minutes. After an hour, open the aluminous bag and insert a sufficient number of strips into the microwell holder. Leave unused strips in the aluminum bag so that the strips are not exposed. The sample was extracted using the cocktail patented as described in the test kit insert. First dilute the gliadine diluent. Add 1 ml concentrate to 4 ml of water. Now the supernatant of the extract has to be diluted. Always make sure that the volume settings of the pipette are correct. 80 microliter of supernatant are pipetted to 920 microliter of diluted gliadine diluent. Use the diluted sample extracts immediately in the assay. Always flush the pipettes before use. Mix the standards and samples before use. Pipette 100 microliter sample or standard per well in duplicate. To save time, all valves are already open. Incubate for 30 minutes at room temperature. During the incubation time, the conjugate is diluted 1 to 11. Add 200 microliter concentrate to 2 milliliter distilled water and mix gently manually. After the incubation, the plate is washed three times. The wash buffer has been diluted 1 to 10 in a clean bottle to which an 8-channel manifold dispenser is attached. Make sure all bubbles have been removed. Firmly press the frame to ensure strips will not fall out during discard. Discard the liquid from the welds using an angular and forceful motion to properly remove all liquid content. Vigorously tap the inverted plate on a dry and absorbing surface to ensure that all liquid content has been removed from the welds. Fill the welds evenly across the plate with 250 microliter wash buffer. Discard the liquid from the welds using an angular and forceful motion to properly remove all liquid content. Repeat the washing step two more times. Also make sure to absorb any liquid from the plate frame and outside bottom of the welds. At the end, visually inspect the welds for residual wash buffer or bubbles and repeat tapping if necessary. Pipette 100 microliter diluted conjugate using a stepper. Flush the pipette tip several times and avoid bubbles. Discard the first aliquot before pipetting the ELISA. Avoid splashing.
Incubate for 30 minutes at room temperature. Put a lid on the plate. After the incubation, the plate is washed three times. After washing, add 50 ml of substrate and 50 ml of chromogen solution to each well with a multi-stepper. Carefully rock the plate to mix substrate and conjugate. Incubate 30 minutes in the dark at room temperature. After the incubation, 100 microliter of stop solution is added to each well with a multi-stepper. Measure the absorbance at 450 nanometers within 10 minutes. Use the Rida Soft Win for calculation of results. Final message. Avoid any airborne contamination from cereals. Keep windows closed. Control with Rida Quick for gluten contamination. Have a continuous workflow during assay procedure. Please notice that the reaction starts with the addition of the first standard or sample to the plate. Therefore, standards and sample should be added quickly to the plate to avoid a time shift. Avoid splashing. Washing steps are crucial and have to be carried out thoroughly. Run check samples, for example R7012, with known concentrations for quality control. The sandwich ELISA Rida Screen Fast Gliadine R7002 is faster and has only 3 times 10 minutes incubation time compared to 3 times 30 minutes. Hydrolyzed and fermented food samples contain small gluten fragments and have to be analyzed with the competitive ELISA Rida Screen Gliadine Competitive. Such small fragments will not be detected in a sandwich format. Now you have learned how to use the ELISA for food analysis. The next steps are the evaluation of the absorption readings and the calculation of results. The documents, compliance criteria for sandwich ELISA and troubleshooting for allergen ELISA will help you. Please remember also to validate unknown samples with spiking experiments. Spiking instructions are contained in the validation reports. Thank you for your time.